Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about everyday math, uh, the lattice method. Now, the lattice method is actually an alternative method to a long multiplication. So uh, if you wanted to multiply numbers and you wanted to think about a method that uses something other than the conventional long multiplication method of multiplying, carry over, etc., then you might want to think about trying this one. So we're going to do an example on um, a two-digit number multiplying by two-digit two number, but understand that you can extend this to uh, three-digit by three-digit and uh, so on and so forth. So Suppose you wanted to find out, let's just say, 21 times 17, okay? So first of all, what you want to do is, because you have a two-digit times a two-digit number, you want to create a 2 by 2. Um, you can think of it as a kind of like a matrix type uh, shape, but it's basically, think of it as um, square with four squares and there are two columns and two rows. And what you want to do after that is create diagonals as a result. So you have a diagonal here, a diagonal from this corner to this corner, and then another diagonal from this corner to this corner. Now what does this have to do with the numbers themselves? Well, this actually gives you some placement in terms of where numbers go where. So because 21 was mentioned first, 21 is be over here, and then 17 is going to be here, okay? Now, the way this method works is part of it, as you can tell, is the setup. Now, once you've put the numbers where they belong and after you've drawn the diagonals going forward, this is where the multiplication takes place. So first, let's just start with the one and multiplying by what you uh, see here. Now. 1 times 1, as you know, is 1. Now, you may notice there's two slots here, but 1 times 1, because it's just a one-digit number, you want to write it as a quote-unquote two-digit number. In other words, 0, 1, because that's what 1 times 1 is. Now, when it comes to 1 times 7, it's the same kind of idea, because 1 times 7 is 7, but because you want to write it as a quote-unquote two-digit number, you write it as 0, 7. Okay? So, and you want to repeat with the 2, 2 times 1 is going to be 2, so it's going to be 0, 2. Now, this is where things become a little bit more interesting because when you have 2 times 7, you have 14, so now you have a true two-digit number, so it'll be 1, 4, like so. Now, in terms of getting to the final answer, this is where you start adding some numbers throughout the diagonal. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the numbers starting from the bottom working our way to the top. So in other words, we're going to look at this diagonal. As you can tell, there's only one number here, so you're going to put the final answer here. Now, for this diagonal, you're going to add 1 plus 0 plus 4, and as you know, that is 5. Now, just as a note, if you happen to add these three numbers and you have a number that's bigger than 10, what you're going to do is you would have written the 0 here and carry over the 1 um, at the very top of this following layer of diagonal and then continue adding. So just make that adjustment if you need it. So, but in this case, because the number we have is less than 10, you wouldn't have to worry about that here. Now, we're going to continue by adding the numbers along this diagonal, 0 plus 2 plus 1, which is going to be 3. And then lastly, over here, when you add this number, obviously that's just a 0. So, Basically, in terms of the final answer, you actually look at it this way. You start here and then you end over here. So you start at this corner and then you have a little path going. And as you can tell, it's going to be 0, 3, 5, 7, which means that actually the final answer is 357. So 21 times 17 is 357. So if you follow this method and the steps, you should be good to go when it comes to following this particular approach. And it's kind of a fun approach after a while. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief overview into everyday math, the lattice method.